Pew, pew. Huh? Ah! Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to part three of the Saxon campaign. So today I'm going to have to try, try and deal with the... Who are you? I've already forgotten their names. The Langobards. And the Franks. So I have... Yeah, that's, that's not good for me. Uh, also, I will rename an army uh, in the next part. Uh, I haven't had a chance to look at all the comments that you guys have been putting in. So, yes, my apologies. Oh, that's good. Hengist. So, Camilla Dunham. Oh. No, I don't want to change my colour scheme. How many times? Stop popping up, will you? <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so, Attila's been released today. So, if, what are your thoughts on Attila so far? Let me know in the comments below. Um, it'd be interesting to see what you guys think of Attila. I, I personally think he's had a much better launch than Rome 2. Uh, obviously, there are still you know fixes uh, that, that kind of need to be addressed. Um, I, I find like the, the title screen... If you tab out and tab in, it, it, the, the, the animation freezes quite a bit. Uh, just just things like that, which I hopefully they can improve on. So, do I take a risk and take try and take out the Langobards? Because I'm not sure if I have enough the, if I have the men to do that, or if I pull back and kill the Franks. I could try and raise. Uh, oh, I can actually raise another army if I wanted to. But if I took these guys out and then decided to attack the Langobards, we are at such a disadvantage. They have lots of Germanic levy, Germanic bowmen, Germanic bands. What have I got? Nordic bands, Saxon spears. I do have a mercenary onager and a couple of warhounds, Saxon mounted war, war bands. It's. Uh, I also have those as reinforcements. So what I'll do, do a quick save. <laughs> um, and I might, you know what, screw it. If I fight intelligently here, I might be able to do okay. Now that will leave my capital open to the Franks, but that is a kind of fortified settlement, so they will have trouble taking it for sure. This one I will also have trouble taking. I would imagine. We'll see. We'll see what I can achieve with what I have. I do have the option to fall back if I want to. So, yeah, they have more units. Of everything, really. I do have some swordsmen, which will be good against their spears. Hopefully my onager can cause quite a bit of damage. That's, that's what I'm hoping. We'll see. Rain! I don't want rain. Dry. That's better. Okay, so what does the settlement look like? Let's have a quick look up here. Looks fairly similar, <clears throat> excuse me, to the battle which I played at not long ago. Actually, this seems a lot more fortified, actually. Hmm. Um, 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 um. I'd be tempted to go up here, but then I'd have to go all the way around and try and get up around there. Okay. Well, if I've positioned these guys here, these guys here, I, I just don't know if they're going to sally out or not. That's what I'm kind of really wary of in case they do decide to sally out and try and kind of crush me. Because that would not go well for me. I'll stick the warhound in the forest. They can go there.
Because if they do sally out, I am at a disadvantage. Okay, so hopefully we can take out a few. There we are. And that should burn quite a few of them as well, I would hope. So keep on firing there, boys. That's doing... You're doing good. You're doing a good job. Pretty much try and kill as many as possible. Before I need to commit myself to anything. And the watchtower is burning as well, so that is fantastic. Okay. Let's see what I can do. God damn it. I'm just gonna I, I won't I won't do that. I'll let them I'll allow them to keep firing. Okay. Base reload time. Can damage buildings, so it gives a minus nine morale. Penalty. So I have these guys coming up here. So I'll send my cav in to try and shoo them off. Okay, and I think we're going to catch a few of them. So that's good. We can keep setting people alight like that. That would be fantastic. Okay, so they have their bows to try and fire in on me. Let's just do a standard round shot. Get my cab out of there. And we lost a few men. Not not a lot. That's what we've done. Brought them down, not quite to our level. Which is a shame. Just hoping to, hoping to get a lucky shot on their general. But I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. No, especially not like that. But they're being very cautious, which I wasn't expecting. I was, I was thinking they'd be do they'd try and do a, a kind of a sally out like last time. On oh, my Jutish campaign at least. Burning a few more of them. I think that probably affects their morale a little bit. At least I hope it does. <laughs> so what kind of settlement damage? Settlement damage is zero. And that's all the ammunition that they can use. Set a bit more on fire, though. That's good. Okay. Bring the cab back. Bring my spears up to support the archers. The archers can have a bit of heavy shot. So hopefully that'll deal quite a bit of damage. Well, I was hoping for more than two kills, but... <laughs> 
Okay. I'm unsure what they're trying to do, but I'll try and react. General, let's get you into the fray. War dogs, I'll, un I'll try and unleash you. They're fleeing already. That's not good for me. I've sent in the war dogs though, so hopefully they'll cause a bit of mayhem. This is what comes from having tier one units. Let's try and bring them round. So how are we doing? Not terribly. Probably could be doing a bit better. Here's my... Oh, I've got a spare unit. Okay, so let's take out a fair few of them here. One of our units can no longer fire. Our men flee the field of battle. This is a shameful display. If I can at least kill the majority of their men, then that'll be a positive. I don't think my general's going to be able to kill all of them. They do need some assistance. So let's try and... Give them the help they need. So even if they can get in a slight charge to help out our general, that will be worth it. So he definitely needs assistance. Although their general appears to be suffering the enemy general's dead that's great for us we can try and start to push now okay it's so a chain route from their units they're all tier one units so they're all going to start routing Oh my god, I think we might have done it. That killing their general was a blessing. Ooh, close victory. I'm happy with that. We lost a thousand, they lost two. Oh. Great. I will simply occupy ready for further orders for Durick deceased the langobards rank 1 nice so i'll probably repair the settlement uh, i will also i'm going to have to raise at least a bit of a garrison in the you're a merchant in the capital, uh, just to help protect. Well, protect it basically. So, if I was to get some, are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Recruit those, and then I, I don't really want to break the bank, but if it means holding the settlement from the Franks until I can, until I'm in a decent position, then I may do that. So, just for now. Here we will repair. 
everything there. And our empire begins to expand a little bit. Okay, so Camelodunum and in Londinium, if I march my army out, that would go down quite a lot, which I can't really afford to do. Um, and I've got oh wait, I've got the outcasts. They they should assist me. Although I think they're probably taking up some of my resources doing that, which is a pain. Okay. So, this will allow me to hopefully trade with a few more people. Sweet! The Vandals, you're happy with me? Oh, crap, I forgot to ask for money. Fagillians, you're something to have a non-aggression pact okay. with, and trade agreement. Well, very well. Well, met Do you want a trade agreement? Sit and let your words move oh, come on! Your agreement, as you wish of them. Give Rambler the money. Give me all the money. Okay, that's not going too shabbily. Uh, I believe we have someone. Did he? Did you level up? You did. Guis. Plus melee attack and infantry commander. Thirsty for battle. Right. So <sighs> I need to take out the Franks so they stop being kind of raided over there. Um, and I just need to deal with them when I'm able to. Obviously, I can't at the moment. So I'll keep you in there. Till third them. I want to keep you guys sweet. Right. Well, I'll end the turn. See what we can achieve in the next one. <gasps> Where are the Franks going? Are they attacking my defensive ally, the Angles? How dare you, sirs? How very dare you. Western Roman Empire, never really know what you're up to. Uh. Wait, what? Wait, what? So the faction has no allies. The Angles. Even though. But. Oh, but. Oh. I think I declined. I didn't really want to. Oh, what are they doing? You have recruited so many units, the treasury is buckling under the weight of their upkeep. Capturing okay. new territory would so, cost. Do I have mercenaries here? Troops to good use. I'll I'll get rid of you for now, even though you were very helpful to me previously. That brings us back into the money. Their upkeep here is kind of rubbish, but that's fine. Uh, defensive ally, oh, the jutes, well, I'm sorry. I'm just not in a position to help you. Um, yeah, I don't want you to move. You're on the other hand. Oh. I was gonna say, can you can you attack them? Please, they need to die. I'm concerned about them, but I think they're going for the angles. I hope. So, is it possible to take Corinium? It is. All right. Uh. Well, I auto resolve that one. We'll be aggressive. Ha cha cha! I mean, I have another rebellion in Britannia, but that's fine. I'm just gonna. Uh, 
provincial instability, minus 20. I'll, I'll loot and occupy it. So we control all of Southern Britannia. I just need to... Sort out the public order, but that will come within time. If it doesn't, I'll just raise the settlements. But we are extremely vulnerable. I mean, do we have any kind of garrison? We don't really have much of a garrison anywhere. Yeah, it's kind of rubbish. We've got the Nordic Warlord in Londinium, but... I don't know where the Western Roman Empire's forces are. They're not really anywhere to be seen. And they can attack them yeah. next turn. Aurelia. Okay. So I probably don't need the mercenary on again. I'm just keeping it in the meantime. Uh, they've, they've retreated. Good. In case, you know, I do need to siege a pretty powerful settlement. I would like more than one unit, though. Ideally. The sword was drawn, but now it's bloodied. The Langobard. This New. New. I'm just going to kill you. Rebellion in Britannia Superior. Right. I thought I'd had a crash then, but it appears to be okay. So that's good. Okay, so we need to defeat. How dare you? You must be destroyed. Cha cha cha. I've encountered Gaul. Oh, you gits. You can't be serious. You. What? <laughs> so, Nordic brigands will retrain into. Which, who did you turn into? Saxon spears. There we go. I can't believe I'm actually going to have to try and pursue them. I've actually encountered Ghoul. Hello, Ghoul. Would you like some? We are, are, as always, a welcoming host to you. No, 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 no. I guess that's fine. For the tribe. Attack. Oh, no, you don't. Come back here. Leave none alive. Right, well, I'll just auto-resolve this. Get them done. Kill the captives. Sweet. So that's them dealt. Oh. Go down here and hide. <laughs> no, come back. Go around here. You I can upgrade. Oh, Nordic Raiders. Sweet. So when can I start getting house cars? I want house cars. Probably not for quite a while, but I'll research something to do with my economy now. And I think that's a good point to end it in case I do get any more crack. Oh my god. I think that might be because it's winter, perhaps. I'm not sure. But yes. Um, I will try and look at the army names in the meantime. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day.